Welcome to Head Game Subi Series. Today, we're gonna disassemble a set of heads and give you a sneak peek at our inspection process. Take a look. Before disassembling, the tech does a visual inspection of the cylinder heads. He follows a checklist to ensure that nothing is missed. This visual inspection includes looking for stud and bolt hole issues, mismatching cam caps, shipping damage, and detonation witness marks. For this job, the customer will be replacing all his OEM parts with aftermarket parts. This includes his valve guides. The tech removes each individual component from each cylinder and boxes it up to return to the customer. Following his checklist, the tech inspects the head for warpage, then cam cap and journal scoring. If these issues are present, they can indicate a bearing issue or oil deprivation. He also looks for oil in the ports or chamber indicating blow-by. Now that the head is disassembled and all the moving parts are removed from it, the tech will put parts in the ultrasonic and the heads in the spray washer. These cleaning machines will remove the oil and carbon buildup. The heads move on to the second inspection shelf where another technician inspects the head to ensure that the inspection results are accurate. Next, the tech will bead blast the head. This cleaning process removes the remaining carbon that the spray washer and ultrasonic were unable to remove. We only bead blasted one head to show you the comparison of what the heads look like before and after. Once the head is fully bead blasted, the head goes outside to be thoroughly blown out. Next step is guide removal. The tech heats the head up so the aluminum expands, making it easier to push out the factory valve guide. We use an air hammer and guide driver for removal. Since the heads are hot, this is the perfect opportunity to remove the oil plugs so the head can be flushed out in the spray washer before it goes to the next station. Once the valve guides are removed, the tech will reference the work order to determine where the head will go next in the shop. This head will be going to the porting room for a pocket port. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, be sure to like and leave a comment below. Stay tuned for our next episode.